What up, peeps? Tony Baker here, back with another movie review. This time I'm reviewing the movie Sisu. I hope I said it right. Uh, I don't even think I heard the words said in the actual movie. If you like gritty action movies, this is the movie for you. Check it out. We go back 1944, the end of World War II, Finland. You know what I'm saying? They signed a little treaty with Russia. Now they about to get the Germans up out of there. The Germans are on the ropes. So now, before the Germans leave, they want to do a scorched earth approach and just burn everything out there on their way out. Sore losers, if you will. The Nazis are getting their ass kicked. There's a guy out here who's living off the grid. He's just living in the wilderness looking for gold, mining his own business. He was gold mining his own goddamn business. That's what he was doing. He was looking for gold. And he found some. He finds the gold. He's like, yo, I'm going to go to the bank and get in on this gold. He was excited about the gold. He was excited. He was like, oh, God, the gold. He was going to the bank. Nazi soldiers run up on him, give him a hard time, try to take his gold. And they're like, just, just, just kill him, man. Just kill him. All hell breaks loose. Those German soldiers made a crucial, grave mistake. They messed with the wrong man. Turns out this man was legendary in killing Russian soldiers in the First World War. He's a legend. He's hard to kill. He's like, yo, man, this dude will not die. His legend is he's immortal. And so you just see him just trying to avoid these soldiers. One man out here in the wilderness trying to get through these Nazi soldiers who want to kill him and take his gold. So now, this movie is really like, yo, how is he going to get out of this? It was so much of that in this movie. I was like, yo, how is he going to get out of this one? How is he going to get out of this? And so to see him just fight and trick his way out of stuff, not even really trick his way out of stuff, but just like do things to survive the next encounter with the Nazi soldiers is just dope to see. I don't know any of these actors. I don't know anybody. I haven't heard a director, the writer, the actors. I haven't heard of any of these people. It's the first time I've seen everybody. And so that made the movie even better. So everybody's new to me. They feel like real people. And the main guy, he didn't even talk in this movie. He didn't even talk. He was just like, ugh, 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 ah, yarg. That's all you got from him. Mm, ah, ah, yarg. That's it. He didn't even talk. And didn't need to. He didn't need to talk. It's basically him killing Nazis, man. And at the end of the day, that's all you need for a plot. That's a good time. Like, no, nobody, I won't say nobody, unfortunately, but most people, <laughs> we ain't fucking with the Nazis. So when we see them getting smacked up, we like, hey, yeah, it serves you right. And so this is a good time, a violent, good time. Over the top, violent, gritty. And the way it, the way it was directed and the way it was set up and the way it was made, it's, it's giving Quentin Tarantino vibes in terms of the font they use on the chapter. It's like chapter one, this, chapter two, this. It, it, it puts you in the mind of like, and I'm talking like Django Quentin. It's giving me those vibes, it's giving me like a, a, a Western black exploitation type of vibe and, and the way that they show you the visuals and the way that they deliver it and the way that the, the story is simple. It's not a complicated story. Like the most complication you'll get is why this certain group of Nazi soldiers is hell bent on getting this dude when they could just turn back. And then you find out why later in the film, I don't want to give it away, but it was like, okay, you encountered this man, you really don't have to kill him, you just need to do what soldiers do and get the hell up out of here. But the, the general was just like, not the general, but the commanding officer is just like, nah, I'm gonna get that gold. So you're like, why are you going to get the gold when the orders were to turn back? It's like, cause once they find his dog tags, it was like, yo, the general, the German general was like, yo, leave that man alone and just come on back. Abort mission, leave that man alone. But the commanding officer is like, nah, we're going to go after him. All right. Because the general knew who that man was and what he was capable of. But no, hard heads make soft behinds. Hard heads make soft behinds. That should be the name of every movie in existence. Because you got to have a hard head to keep the story going. And so, paid the price. The action is good. The acting is good. And I enjoyed it. I went in there... 
I saw one trailer for it, so I went in there just expecting like a good action movie that's gritty and violent. And that's just what I got. So if you're into that sort of thing, check it out. But forget all that. You want to know the smooth jazz review of Sisu. Well, here it is. Oh, yeah. I'll give a Sisu four saxophones out of five. Go check it out, man. Like, if you like gritty action, go check it out. It might be, it might be a movie that you like, yeah, I could watch this again and again. Might be one of those for you. I enjoyed it. And I like the fact that the, the main character never talks. I like that, man. When you stay in the pocket, and they'll be like, he ain't gonna talk. Or he gonna have his helmet on the whole time. That stuff is right up my alley, man. I love it. All right, peeps, that's my review of Sisu. Let me know what you thought of the movie in the comments section below. If you haven't heard of this movie, I would recommend avoiding the Red Band trailer and just watching the regular trailer. Because the Red Band might show you a little too much action because they, they ain't got no restrictions. So if you do look at the trailer, avoid the Red Band trailer because it might show you too much. Or if you don't care, then the Red Band trailer is super entertaining. But uh, let me know what you thought of the movie below in the comments section, man. Let me know. How'd you like it? What'd you think? Were you surprised? Let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And as usual, we out here.